In the hot seat is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Questions and answers made possible thanks to Doom World's messaging service. Hello, deviant doomers! Welcome to In the Hot Seat, the game show where Doom members are fed ten savage questions while being slowly dissolved by a ten damaging lava floor. If they can make it through, they win a rad suit. Yay! And their life. Oh, that sucks. Tonight we've captured the illustrious Paul Peacock. Corfiatus, an extremely prolific mapper from Australia and a stalwart pillar of the Doom community. Among his many, many accomplishments are the four megawatts he created on his lonesome, my favorite of which is Zone 300. Lean, streamlined, wicked demonic fun. Not nearly enough pain elementals for my liking, but <laughs> that's just me. <laughs> and now, let the pain commence! Favorite IWAD level and why? Do you have a favorite IWAD MIDI tune too? Ah, uh, so many choices here. Best map is E1M7 and the best song is E1M8. But it's all really good. <sighs> Plutonia or TNT? Or should this kind of Final Doom favoritism be abolished? Plutonia. Gorgeous stuff by the Casali brothers. <sighs> Vanilla, Boom, UDMF, what's your favorite format to map in? Why is that? Boom. And also limit removing just gives you more flexibility in a format you are familiar with. I also don't mind vanilla too. <sighs> The Twilight Zone is listed as your first Doom outing. How do you feel about it now? Twilight Zone. I was proud of it and I thought it was a good effort for my first serious attempt. I got the hang of mapping very quickly. A sequel, The Twilight Zone 2 Final Dreams, was released in 1999, which also contained my first original OST. <sighs> what advice would you offer to first-time mappers? Study the format, get the hang of it, have fun and take it step by step. Many first-time mappers get excited, oh, I made a working map, now I cannot wait to make a megawad, but this takes time and effort. I had the patience to create two megawads from 1997 to 1999 before I got an internet connection, and it was quite a lot of fun once I got the hang of the editor. <sighs> Have you ever taken a walk on the wild side and toyed with the idea of heretic or hexen mapping? I have made a couple of heretic maps. Candy Chopper's standalone map in 2001, and E2M2 Lucifer's spell of the heretic treasure chest. They are my only heretic maps. I have not created any Hexen maps. <sighs> what was the toughest time you've had in a Doom map? Ah, uh, some of the maps created by Richard Wiles were just so goddamn tough. Very little ammo and health resulting with no room for error, particularly his Crusades episode. It is bloody beautiful though. Sigil E5M5 was brutal. <sighs> Of all the things you've created, what are you most proud of? 2022 A Doom Odyssey without question. Probably the most underrated Ultimate Doom Megawad. It is a full five episode tribute to the original Doom slash Death Tormentation and Sigil. <sighs> now Peacorf, dream collaboration. Who would you like to work with? Or are you a lone wolf mapper who prefers creative solitude? I am mostly a lone wolf, but have worked several projects with Christian Nebula and Chris Hansen, Death Tormentation series, both Doom Odysseys and Whispers of Satan. I have contributed to various community projects. <sighs> what does the future hold for you concerning Doom? Any specific plans or desires? My future plans, well, after the release of 2022 AD, I'm just taking a good break from mapping to concentrate on life, especially my music career and family. Got a few challenges restricting me from mapping right now, but hopefully I'll return back to the game with something later this decade. Watch this space. I shall indeed watch this space with great anticipation. Thank you very much for your time and responses, Peacorf. Enjoy your radiation suit, good sir. Ladies and gentlemen, give him a great big hand. Now I shall turn a question to you, the viewer. You there, what burning questions would you ask your favorite Doom mappers? What are you dying to know? Are my questions any good or do they suck ass? 
let me know! Don't forget to check out the links in the description and thanks for watching! Pray that you shall not find yourself in the hot seat!